We all know bike theft is a reoccurring problem in Anchorage. After losing a couple himself, Nick Stewart and Spinard came up with an idea to deter theft. That looks like it's straight out of a Home Alone movie. During August, Nick Stewart lost not one, but two bikes to thieves, all caught on camera. He's grown tired of it. So I came up with the idea of the bait bike. Let's see if we can go for a third. Towards his home, visible from the street, a booby-trapped bike with a bad seat. And then they sit on it and they get a little poke. Faulty brakes. So there's definitely no brakes. They're not gonna be able to stop. A compromised chain. So they'll get one pedal maybe, and it, since it's going from the biggest to the smallest, the chain's gonna fall off. And even if it's picked up, it's not going far. I have it bolted here onto the frame itself. And it runs about a 10 foot line to the post. So that's about as far as they're gonna get to this point. Since its creation, a very different vibe on his security footage. Again, not once, but twice in the last month. The people who have seen the videos love it. I got some people offering to pay me to go hook them up for them. Stewart feels that APD is too busy to report the bikes that he lost, but thinks people with high-end bikes stolen should definitely let police know. And based off a recent post from APD, the bait bike is doing its job. You know, get their, those faces out there. Maybe they can recognize them. He doesn't think this is going to solve the city's bike theft problem, but hopes to make it a little bit better. Maybe one or two that's less stolen because they got, the, got a hold of a bait bike and that deters them for once or twice, that's, that's good enough for me. So while the APD did use some of the footage from the bait bike, the department says that in a statement that they do not encourage this sort of thing at all because the many dangerous ways a suspect can react that officers are trained to respond to.